Oh, did he get in? about my channel today as always it's Saba and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you a week in my hair this is gonna be a busy week in my hair as you can see right now I have braids my middle braid is off off sensor it's supposed to be right here or something like that and it's all the way over there so it's time for it to come out I had these braids in for oof, maybe like five weeks Something like that. It's time for the braids and close the door. Don't mind my shirt, it's a bit zinged because I ain't my mom. What can you do? But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take these braids out. I'm not gonna film it because I have multiple videos on me taking my braids out and I wanna just get it done and over with. What time is it? I don't know what time it is. I'll pop the time up on the screen. And yeah, the next time y'all see me, I will not have braids. day one yeah so like i said this is going to be a week in my hair i have a lot of things planned for this week as far as my hair is concerned i want to film a lot of hair videos and it's also the week of my daughter's b-day so we have a lot going on this week but yeah this is day one just took my braids out and i'm not gonna wash it right now because it's like two o'clock in the morning and i need to go to bed <laughs> Okay, you guys today is day three i didn't do anything with my hair yesterday but today did i break the bottom of it okay so today i'm planning on what am i planning on doing today i was going to do like my dollar tree stuff like test it out the dollar tree stuff that i bought for my hair so i guess i'm going to do that and just do like a twist out that's probably what i'm going to keep doing for the rest of the week i was supposed to do this yesterday i'm a day behind but in my defense it's going to be a busy week it's my daughter's birthday week so we got a lot going on plus this month i'm trying to upload every day so it's a lot going on but yeah i'm probably about to just test out this dollar tree stuff wash you know condition and i think i bought a gel and a like a scalp massager thing and that's going to be about it for today i guess i'll be back to you guys because i don't want to show you guys too much of what i'm doing with my hair because i'm going to make separate videos well the braid video is not a separate video like me taking out my braids that's not a separate video but yeah i'm not going to show you guys like my whole process of doing the like using the dollar tree stuff but i will be back when i am done and show you guys the final results so here we are pre-wash okay <laughs> to finish this video when i first started filming for it of course i planned on starting it again which is why it's here but i didn't i at first i wasn't going to because like i'm breaking out right now and i really it's really getting irritating that i'm breaking out on time but i realized that it's i think it's more hormonal or whatever because i'm about to come on so i'm trying to do stuff to take care of it so you guys will know in like a month maybe two months whether or not it's worth it but anyway we are back to day one let me get my stuff this video of course is a week in my hair or whatever but today is sunday i again wanted to film this now i thought i wasn't going to because I, this week i plan on like doing i think like a blowout like some blowout curls but i have some unexpected events that i have to go to not events but like some stuff i gotta do so i wanted to do a protective style aka like some mini twists but then i'm like girl just keep up with your plan to do the little blowout curls or whatever and we'll see what happens so i'm gonna keep doing i'm gonna keep it with my plan Today is day one or whatever, so it's wash day. I'm going to try to do a one product wash day. I thought I had more Apple G projects, which I, projects, 
products which i do but i have like a curl defining cream and also the leave-in conditioner so i'll probably also use the leave-in conditioner let me go get that bottle i'm probably also going to use the leave-in conditioner i haven't showed you guys all the stuff yet but anyway i'll show you guys this real quick so this is what i also have this curl definer it defines and controls for what definition and control for texture hair anti-humidity for i don't yeah definition control for texture hair anti-humidity formula if i was doing the mini twist i would definitely use this but since i'm not i'm not going to use this on my blowout for day one it's going to be wash day i'm going to wash ooh, i'm going to wash my hair with this afuji shampoo and then i'm going to use this two minute reconstructor no conditioner today because i don't have any afuji conditioner i'm gonna work with what i have again i thought i had more afuji products pro yeah products but i don't and then i'm gonna use this leave-in when i'm done or whatever but i'm gonna have separate videos for all of this stuff throughout the week so we're having content on content on content on content so i'm about to get in the shower wash my hair i will be back when my hair is washed and i will let you guys see the finished product but if you guys want to see the whole process of me washing my hair and getting it out of this state, this is a before. Hold on, let me back you up. We are living on a prayer right now. I don't even know how my hair is even still on my head. It's by the grace of God. If you guys want to see how I get my hair from this, like it's not even a joke how tangled my hair is. I like look at it. It's not even a joke. It's not a joke. My hair is completely tangled. I don't even know when it was that I did something with it. It's been at least two weeks, hence why it's in a matted ball, basically. So if you guys wanna see how I go from this to, hopefully something better then check out my video on my one product wash day i'll leave it in the cards i'll be back okay so i'm back y'all i got off the shower i washed with my shampoo i did my reconstructor and then i also put the leave-in in like i said it's a separate video telling you guys everything i feel about the products or whatever and blah 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 so you guys can go watch that if you really want to but this is day one and to make my days a little bit more like structure i'm not going to what's it called i'm not going to blow dry my hair tonight i'm gonna to do that tomorrow so yes i already have a video of me blowing out my hair so i'm not going to show you guys me blowing it out but again you know stay tuned i'll be i'll tell you guys what i'm doing tomorrow i'm not going to give you all my all my tea right now but what i'm about to do is just put my hair in two braids so that it will not get tangled over night and it's about 11 o'clock at night right now so i'm going to let it air dry for maybe about an hour or two and then i'm most likely going to put a scarf on and probably a bonnet too i have satin sheets and satin pillowcases so i really don't super need to but in my opinion like even though i have satin sheets and satin pillowcases like if i want to keep my hair tame i'm deaf still gonna have to wear a scarf like you know it may not break my hair off but you know it's not going to keep my hair tame and y'all that's you know, I don't really care if my hair is tame tonight because I'm just going to end up blow drying it again. I mean, blow drying it in the morning. Well, tomorrow. So it's really not that super big of a deal. But yeah, I'm most likely saying all that to say I'm putting a scarf on whether or not I have, say, pillowcases or not. So yeah, I'm putting my hair in two braids. Real. Don't give a crap zooming in however we're gonna get done but yeah this is what my hair is gonna be like tonight and then tomorrow i'm gonna blow it out and i'll be back to show y'all what's gonna happen on day two we got stuff planned for all week honey i'll be back all right 
right, so today is Tuesday, right? Yeah, today is Tuesday. I didn't film yesterday because I was gonna do my hair last night, but then I got mm, busy, so I didn't. I didn't do anything to my hair since Sunday when I, you know, washed it and put the leave in it or whatever. So today I'm going to give it a little trim. I was gonna do the trim yesterday and then the curls today, but since I didn't do the trim yesterday, I'm just going to do the whole thing today, do myself a trim and give me some blowout curls. So I have my hair in these two braids. They haven't been in the braids the whole time since Sunday. I took them out earlier today to basically redo the braids because I was going out and I didn't want to look musty and crusty. So I got my hair in these two rubber bands. I'm actually gonna follow this girl's video that I saw a while ago. I was been supposed to do this. Give myself, give myself a trim. Like as long as like a year ago, I think. I think I bought them, um, or maybe earlier in the year. <sighs> but yeah. So my hair is like really dry, especially at the bottom. So I definitely need a trim. I have needed a trim for at least a year, or maybe two years at this point. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is basically re-wet my hair, like drench it, because I'm using this new product. Hold on, let me go get the stuff I'm gonna use. All right, so I'm going to be using this new product. I saw this girl use this Frizzy's Extra Strength Serum. It says for thick and coarse hair. And then the directions say to have your hair soaking wet before you use this. So I have to re-wet my hair, number one. She used that, I think, when she was doing a silk press. Let's take my apple watch off. I'm going to try to use it for this blowout slash for my blowout curls. Now, I don't know what I'm going to use to do the blowout curls. I guess I could use flexi rods. But yeah, and I'm also going to use this heat protector. I know I did the leave-in, which was supposedly some sort of heat protector as well. But since I didn't blow dry my hair right after I put the leave-in in, I'm going to use this heat protector again. I am not a big advocate for heat protectants. I don't know which one is good or blah, 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 because I don't know if they really work, but just in case I'm gonna use it. Is this a form of a heat protectant? This doesn't say that it's a heat protectant. It just says advanced smoothing and hydration with extra humidity resistance. So this is to hold my hair, I'm guessing, keep it under control. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to use a heat protectant. First, we're gonna blow dry. I'm gonna use this. I already have a video on this brush so you guys can go. Oh, my hair is on my face. I already have a video on this brush so you guys can go watch it if you wanna see like my whole review of it or whatever. And I can't remember when I showed you guys this, but whenever I showed you guys this, this is how long it's been since I was supposed to do myself a trim. I feel like these are thinning shears. They say hair trimming shears, but I feel like because they have those lines in them, I feel like they're thinning shears. So I'm gonna have to be careful with these because I'm not trying to thin my hair out. I don't, I feel like these are thinning shears and I don't wanna thin my hair out. So hold on a second. Okay, so my hair is fully blown out just wanted to show you guys the before before i trim it hopefully it all goes according to plan let me get a nice even cut okay these products work really well together my hair feels smooth and amazing anything just like the front pieces let me try to give myself a better middle part I think that's better all right so 
So this is my hair, all blown out. Okay, put it to the front. So you guys can see. Let's see if we can see what the end is looking like. Right. So my goal when I trim it is to even it out because. Feel like mm, it's not that far off, but yeah, I want to even it out, and I also, of course, want to get the dead ends off. Back, I'm gonna look at myself. I trimmed it if y'all remember, if y'all watched. Um, what video was that? Um, it might have been a passion twist video, but I think I gave myself a little trim. When I did the passion twist, I don't know. I'll be trimming my hair every now and again when it just feels gross. So I'll be back when it's trimmed so that you guys can see the difference. And then after that, I'll be back tomorrow when I show you guys how my blowout curls turned out. Just know that even though this serum says to put it on, um, yeah, this serum says to put it on soaking wet hair, but I'm probably going to do it the way like Kayla Cake did her blowout curls. All she used was oil. She didn't use no gel. She didn't use no spray. She didn't use no mousse. She, no cream. All she used was oil. So I'm either going to use this serum again, even though my hair is dry, or I'm going to use castor oil. I'll tell y'all tomorrow. But yeah, today's Tuesday. Blowout done. And I'll be back a little bit later to show y'all the trim, but y'all not gonna see the blowout curls until tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm not saying why she acting froze. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so today is Thursday. Y'all probably saw a little bit of yesterday because I had to refresh my hair a little bit. Because listen, I had them flexi rods in my hair when I went to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night. I had to take them flexi rods out. Like I could not sleep in them flexi rods. Um, I like my sleep. It was not about to happen. So yeah. But yeah, today, Thursday, tomorrow is my husband's birthday. So we gonna go out and stuff. So I want my hair to look cute. So I'm about to refresh my curls. I was going to put some more flexi rods in, but what I'm probably gonna do is just put my hair in braids and then like pin curl it. I'm gonna just use some pins because I'm not about to play with the flexi rods again. I do not want to have to get up in the middle of the night and take the flexi rods out. It just was not working. I had about 20-ish flexi rods in my hair. So, yeah, it just was not, 
it just wasn't it just wasn't i was going to use castor oil and then i thought about using the apple g cream or whatever since i used the apple g in the beginning of the video like to wash my hair but then i remember i then i thought about using my african pride mousse because i've used that before for flexi rods but then i remember i got this apple g mousse so i'm about to use that just to keep with the product line or whatever not that it really matters but you know just for aesthetics so yeah i'm probably going to brush my hair out I thought this was going to be one braid, but I'll, I'll do this in two braids. Okay. So, I'm just going to throw some mousse on there. You don't need much. About three pumps total. Make sure that's all here. Get them coated. like the bottom say it's a style and wrap mousse so hopefully it can hold three curls so yeah I'm just gonna put a braid in it so this is like a mousse braid out I don't know how this is gonna turn out I'll probably put another pump of mousse on the braid itself and then I probably put my hair in about six to eight braids also and then I'm gonna put another pump at the very bottom and then like twirl my hair basically like pin curl it pin curl the braid and I've never done this before so I don't know how it's going to turn out hopefully it turns out well the only time I really 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 use this mousse is for like braids like putting on top of my braids to keep the flyaways away so I don't know how it actually does when you're doing an actual style so we shall see okay all right I'm gonna put a little bit of mousse right here Okay. So this is what my hair looks like. I got eight braids in. And I'm about to hold on be right back. I'm about to brush this down real quick. And I'm gonna spray some of this paint glosser on there. This is number one, so my hair don't smell like alcohol. And number two, hopefully, to make it not be like real crunchy. Let me just throw a scarf on. Today is Friday, my man's B day. Woohoo! It's 11:56, so I take these curls out or whatever. I just washed my face. <sighs> Alright, so here's what the braids looking like. I'll be back after I take them out because I need to go turn the air on. It's hot. Okay, here's how the curls turned out this time. For like a little. Yeah. 
so. I could wear it like this, just regular. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I'll probably put a bobby pin right here and maybe over here to keep it back. That's just what it's gonna be. Some of it, I mean, it's not bad. Came out better than I expected, to be honest, especially the ends. I could use one of these hair pins probably. Maybe, maybe not. No, I need a bobby pin. Let me go get some clips. Okay, so I'm wearing a little bit of blue today. So I'm gonna put this clip on just to put the color, the color that. So for this side, I'm gonna use this gold clip. All of these are from Dollar Tree. And I guess and then over here. Do I need a bobby pin? I keep pushing it for no reason. Okay, I think I can just use the clip. Okay, and I'll put the bobby pin. So this is what we're looking like today. With the the move turned out actually pretty well. I would recommend you guys trying it out. It's way more expensive, like I said. Ugh. Hopefully, like I told y'all earlier, in a couple months I won't be breaking out anymore on my period because I'm over it. But yeah. So yeah, this one is looking like today. I think the mousse turned out really good. Highly recommend. It's more expensive than my normal African pride like rose mousse or whatever, but you know, it works. So yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> okay, y'all, so today is Sunday. I don't think I talked to y'all yesterday, but all I did was put my hair in this little bun. That's literally all I did. It's nothing different. I basically like brushed it up, put it in this little bun, and that's all. I'm cutting to this part now because I'm gonna show you guys how I did this bun. All right, y'all can see my whole bun. All right, so when I did my bun, I literally only used my Dollar Tree Tangle Teaser because I didn't feel like looking for the real one, and I used this double-sided brush. Now, because I might film tomorrow, I'm going to use this aloe, and I know I say, well, I'm about to tell you guys that I might do a, I should call it, what's it called? Um, hot oil treatment tonight, but I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna redo this bun, and Lord willing, I'm gonna do the stuff for my hair. I'll probably do it tomorrow, because I guess, well, I'm gonna end up telling you guys that my sister, I'm gonna get her to even out my hair on Wednesday, today's Sunday. So yeah, here's the hair, blah, blah, blah. So, to put it in the bun, I'm just gonna flip it upside down, right? I'm gonna take the Dollar Tree, Oh Try to get most of the curling out. And what I need to do is put some aloe in the front. I can't super recommend you guys doing this because like my hair is getting tangled, but this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take the brush, I'm gonna take the hard side and brush. Okay. I'm using two scrunchies. I'm gonna take the first one. Let me try to get.
it's not gonna be worth it because I'm never able to do anything perfectly. That's as good as I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna twirl the bun. This is literally the same thing that happened the first time. So I don't to do it. And wrap. There it is. Twirl. And wrap. Twirl. And wrap. And before I put the other scrunchie on, make it how I want it. Put the other scrunchie on. And that's pretty much it. This bun is a little bit smaller than the bun I had before, but it's fine. This is like a little ballerina bun. It's fine. That's what the back looks like. I can't even, I don't even know what the back looks like, but yeah. That's what the back looks like. I'm just gonna brush it a little bit. So this is what I did on Saturday to my hair. Just put it up in a little ballerina bun. Didn't do anything on Sunday. Now cut back to earlier. I thought about washing my hair today, like maybe doing a deep condition, like hot oil treatment since it's Sunday, basically the start of the week or whatever. Either way, I'm gonna have to do it before Wednesday because I asked my sister to even out my hair on Wednesday because I don't know what happened when I was cutting my hair or trimming my hair or whatever, but the front is a little bit longer than the back, so I have to even it out. But yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to end this video with this bun. If I end up doing a hot oil treatment tonight, then y'all will see. But as for right now, I think I'm pretty much done just because uh, I really need some more inspiration when it comes to my hair. Like that's why I be getting braids and stuff all the time because I really don't know what to be doing with my hair. And then when I put it in a style, I end up not liking the style. And then it's just like, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of hassle. It's a lot of work. And I don't, I don't. I don't. So yeah. Did I tell y'all I was breaking out? Yeah, I'm breaking out. But I think it's going away. I haven't been doing my skincare my super lot this week, but I've been trying to keep up with it. But yeah. So I might see y'all later on tonight to do a hot oil treatment. But if not, that's gonna be the end of this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to do your good the other day and like this video. And if you're so inclined, you can also subscribe for extra cool points, extra kudos, extra blessings.